I think it's completely inappropriate and, and possibly a fireable offense that she treat a second grader like this. What, okay, so let us, let's, let's take the learning disability issue out for a minute. What if it's just, it's a kid who doesn't care, um, who's just, who's, who's treating this all a, as a game. How is she supposed to respond to that? Well, first of all, it's second grade. Yeah. I mean, I don't think a child is, is necessarily playing a game in, in second grade. Perhaps he, he didn't take it you know, as seriously as he might, he should have. But um, it's not... So what, I mean, I guess what, what, what do you do? Do you, do you obviously, obviously the, the child has failed the test, so you, you can't, I mean, you can't give him an A, you can't give him gold stars for that. What, what do you do? No, again, and like the caller before, a uh, couple of mm -hmm. callers ago had said, you, you take the parents, you talk to the parents, you talk to the child, you absolutely do not put pathetic on a second grader's test. I mean, if it was a high school life. student, would you use the word pathetic? I'm just, I, what would you think? I think, I think it's you have more leeway then, okay. absolutely, um, but not not a second grader. I mean, okay, no, I get it. Okay, no, thanks for calling. I know that, and that's it, it is it is a second grader. I mean, I look there, there, there. There's a lot. There's obviously a lot of failures that are going on here, and I, I think you know. I'm, I'm, is part of the thing. I understand why the dad is upset that, that his child you know, comes home with this, you know, these, these negative comments. At the same time, I do think that maybe the dad should be concerned with why the kid failed so badly in the, this project. Why